Hello guys. Now we'll speak about uh, middle level of English or intermediate level of English, how they call it in uh, academic area. And I will be asking you questions. You please watch how long do you answer the question? How many words, how many phrases do you use for my for your answer, right? How well do you understand my question? But before we do, we do that, a general idea about intermediate level. What's the difference between basic, beginning and intermediate? Actually, you won't believe it, but the first place takes emotions, impressions, feelings that you can express. So we could say that's actually very mind-blowing information. Look at it very carefully. The basic level is... Uh, what you can describe physically and what physically surrounding you actions what happened and less about emotions about feelings about impressions about ideas and opinions of course on the basic level you know about the words like happy favorite interesting and like that but nothing more on uh, middle level, on intermediate level, we have an ability to describe those emotions, feelings, impressions and opinions. That would be the main difference. Because on that level, we collect the words, we collect the vocabulary. That's more about those abstract, not physical, not material things, but more about mental uh, things. Take this into account, please, when you're going to be answering my questions right now. And look how deep you're digging into this, into those emotional abstract aspects of whatever I'm asking, okay? Look at this carefully. So let's start. What are your closest professional goals? Hmm? Speaking of future ideas, look at this carefully. What are your future goals in general? Maybe not professional, just your future goals. What are you planning to do? Next question. What is your previous working experience? Where did you work before? Or what is your previous living experience? Where did you live before? What TV shows, movies, books do you enjoy? And here we need something more than just a list. We need some description. Why do you enjoy it? What emotions, feelings, impressions it gives you? Look at this carefully. Do you still watch TV, by the way? Or you stopped doing it? If not, what do you watch then? What school did you attend? How was it? Describe it, please. Um, what are your professional skills? What can you do well? Professionally, of course. If not for job, of course, we can. Uh, I can ask you about your life skills. What are you good at as a person, first of all? Mm -hmm. What diet do you stick to? Do you have any uh, sleeping problems? What would you recommend me um, if I want to lose weight, for example? That's actually a question. Mm, are you single? How often do you go to dates? That's a question not only for single people. I go to dates, although I'm married for uh, almost 10 years. I go to dates with my husband. So how often do you go to dates? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you study something? What do you study? Why do you study that? Look at this. How carefully, how mm, well do you cover this answer? How many words, how many sentences, how many phrases do you use in your answer? Do you have any public speaking experience? If yes, did you like it? If not, what was wrong about it? What do you do when someone pushes you? What do you do when someone pushes you? Okay, try to answer these questions. Look at how long do you answer them? How many words do you use? Look at how clear are these questions for you? Okay?